Well, bro, welcome back to the Home Lab Tech Support Channel where we do stupid stuff that makes no sense, sometimes completely out of order. We do stuff we're going to say we're do, we don't do it, and then we do random stuff because we get bored. Bored! So today's video, I'm going to show you how to boot Ubuntu into RAM. Why? So you can remove the stupid USB 2.0 thumb drive, and you're not going to be limited by the speed of the thumb drive, so you can actually use Live reasonably fast. And if you wanted, you can technically just use it as your full operating system until you reboot. Never reboot. <laughs> so, right now, server's booting. Server's booting. So, we're going to enter into the boot selection menu. I'm going to press uh, F12 while I'm talking to you for a moment. We're going to add uh, one thing into the Grub... Um, well, yeah, just into Grub. And what that's going to do is that's going to tell the operating system to copy um, all of its files into RAM. So we'll be taking about two, two and a half gigs of RAM to boot. But at that point, we'll be able to remove the thumb drive and the thing will rock along. So hopefully this is ready to get rocking. I've already seen the screen flip a couple of times. Hopefully it can finish up quickly. I'm pretty sure it needs like another 30 seconds. And if I was, yay! If I just ramble enough, I suppose it'll, uh, it'll make its own decisions. Sweet, okay, we're gonna press E to edit. And we're going to go down to the third line here and we're gonna press that arrow key many, many times. Do, 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 do. And right after quiet, put a space to RAM, and then we're gonna press F10 to boot. And that should boot us into Ubuntu desktop, the trial, but in RAM. So we'll find out. Let's give it a sec to boot. It will take an extra minute to boot. It is copying all of the files, not just launching the boot files that you need to get to the desktop. Hmm. So, how's your week? You staying healthy? You wearing a mask? You being a good boy or girl? Awesome. All good things. Want to see my RAM collection? RAM collection. Why do I still have a RAM collection? Because the people that won the contest didn't accept, which means I still have RAM to give away. And that also means that I have watch cards to give away. Uh, just hit me up and I can get this to you. I'll put the link in the description to the Reddit page where you guys can reach out. And uh, yeah, all you do is pay shipping and you get it for free. Uh, yeah. What else? Oh yeah, no one won the NAS. That was a shame. Although someone won the Switch. Someone in Russia. That was pretty cool. Okay, cool. So we're at the desktop. Cool. Yep. Right around 2.8 gigs. Just a hair over two and a half. Which then means I can go into my disks. And we can click on the thumb drive. Ejecto. Blammo. And we are still running. So at this point, if I launch Firefox... Which Firefox always seems to take a moment to load. There's no ethernet, so that makes complete sense here. But yeah, now I can run the entire operating system and not have a problem. I was thinking about making a thumb drive and just permanently editing Grub to do this for me, because honestly, I would rather always boot to RAM like this than boot to a thumb drive. It's just so much quicker. App update. Let's just watch. Yeah, it helps if I spell right. Oh, right. There's no Ethernet, so this is an absolutely pointless exercise. Anyways, my name is Ryan. This is Home Lab Tech Support. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, uh, hit the bell, subscribe. Um, if you don't do anything but subscribe, awesome. That just tells me that you guys like these videos and that you guys are out there watching. And I hope you guys stay safe, be healthy, and I will see you guys again soon. Take care.